Hi friends. It's time. I got mayo. This is the Creepy Nibs made me do it video. So I got my nail polish. This is the closest to the one that she's been wearing. So thanks, Countess. This package came from the UK. Now, not everything in here is a la Creepy Nibs made me do it. Specifically, these two things are less so. Those can go back there. Some of the other things are, though. And one of the things is, like, my friend Sarah made me do it. Hey, look, they sent me a little thing. Cute. So, I also have a package from Jet Pins <laughs> that already opened. Um, so, let should we start with uh, the Creepy Nibs made me do it? The one thing I got from them that I think of the Countess. <laughs> oh, it's smushed. I mean, it was not. Um, <laughs> Honestly, it's surprising that everything isn't broken, given that it didn't come in a box, but Colorverse Shiny Black. Woo! Very excited for this. Um, admittedly, I had seen Manny use this too, but the final domino was a video from Creepy Notes. So, I should get my swatching supplies. I'm a, I have a horrible migraine today, but we're surviving. <laughs> let's do let's get swatching supplies. But we're going to take a break from our regularly scheduled package. This is from Colt Pins in the UK, by the way. Uh, if I didn't say. To the other creepy nibs made me do it stuff. So from Jet Pins, I got a notebook that is MD notebook in the cotton paper. So this is in a non-standard size. I guess what MD decided is that this paper is for drawing and not writing, so let's give it to you in a different uh, format. And that's their thing. I the, if When I looked on their website, they had um, one that looked fairly large, like for a sketchbook. So I'm excited to try this. I haven't taken anything out of the package, even though I got these like two days ago, which is not my jam. <laughs> and then <laughs> I got this place here in Black Mist. So I, I am not saying that like Creepy Nibs even featured this pen. <laughs> But somehow this is still her fault. <laughs> but look at it. It's a matte black pen. Creepy nibs. If you watch this, let me know if you approve. So here you go. Shiny black MD cotton paper and a matte black platinum placier. This is my first placier. I expect to like it because my understanding is it's basically a fancy preppy. Uh and I like the preppy that I have uh, quite a bit. It actually stays on my desk. So, let's get swatch supplies. Righto. Swatch supplies. Oh, almost. Present and accounted for. So. Statue of Limitations is up on, on our last thing. So, let that be. So let it be written. So, I've got some coloring cards. I have uh, this stuff. Maria. Oh, words really that hard. No, oh, interesting. This still had like red on it. 
This is a, I don't know, Libra G, some kind of nib. We'll figure it out. Who really cares anyway? And uh, some containers of water, a cheapy paintbrush. <clears throat> now I'm going to pre-wet. I don't want that to be as full as that is. Okay. Better. I have a glass dip pen that... Well, I tell you what, I have like taken care of this sucker and I think it's still managed to crack at the end. I have a notebook with Tamale River paper. I have this random sheet of Aerofull paper. And let's open this up. Come on out of here. Here's what it says. Unique writing paper. Designed for comfortable drawing. Blank with no lines or grids. This series matches the standard F-sized canvases. So, yeah, it's not book binding sizes, it's canvas binding sizes. Um, it's got this like rice paper type outer cover. And it's properly bound. It should lay pretty flat. Just helping it out. I kind of want to just cut one of these last pages out of here. If only I had a knife. I'm cutting it a good quarter inch away from the binding so it shouldn't weaken it. Also, I just really scratched the paper and not cut it. We're not using this right now. This will be for later times. The next time I need a notebook in 10 years. Hey, 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 what are you doing? <laughs> I'm having issues. I was very excited and I just expended all of my energy to be excited to start this video, it seems like. Migraines are gonna migraine. Okay, so now we also have this sheet of the Midori MD cotton. And we gotta get going. What are you doing? So this is shiny black. It's shiny because it has shimmer. So we're gonna give it a little loving jostle. A little roll around. Take it on a tri trip. How do I even do these cards? Shiny black. Oh, right. Okay. I remember now. Rolly. Okay. Yep. Good, good, good. I really wish I could put the shiny black in the place here, but I don't want to put shimmer ink in there. Um. And ugh, I may need a new one. A new nib. Where to burn this one? See, it's beating up and not. I mean, it, these these nibs are not made for 
um, pinning. We're giving up momentarily. Let's hope that worked. Yeah, better. I just washed my ink washcloth. Let me tell you. The problem with these and this kind of nib is like the little pointy parts of the nib get stuck on the little loopy bits of the terry cloth. It's fine. So many, so many little swatches. It's right on this paper. Okay, so far I'm in love and I think this was a really good decision to buy this ink. Even though I never use black, maybe that's just because I don't have the right black. Maybe this is the black to end all blacks. Why do you want to end all blacks? Now this video is going in a place I don't like. Okay, stop, stop. So. Ruby Nibs, Countess, I hope I did right by you. Oh my gosh. Why does this... We don't have to put it away perfectly, Maria. Okay. Let's put our lighter away. <laughs> All right. So, great. Here we go. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Doo, 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 doo. All right, now on to the less creepy nibby part of the video, perhaps. But how could, look at it, it's not dry yet, but hopefully you can see some of that gorgeous silver shimmer. You know what would be also dope in here is holographic shimmer. It's dope without it. Um, I got one last thing that from uh, Jet Pins, so I'll show that now. Because I don't have a, a Faber Castell. Well, I didn't have a Faber Castell because I have one now. It was on sale. Downfall of all of us, right? Um. And it is the Hexo in B. Look at that wee nib. <laughs> it's so wee. How big is it compared to the place here? They're both wee. Look at them. Look at how little. Oh, cute. Um, they're so big. I'm so used to like chunking number six nibs. 
So, oh, hey, look, that's kind of neat. Like, there's a pattern inside the cap. I like that. Uh, anyway, not sure yet what I'll ink these up with. I have some ideas, but it remains to be seen. This did come, I don't have a converter, and it came with a cartridge. So I could just use the cartridge, or I could just dump everything that's in the cartridge and then refill the cartridge. <clears throat> I'm inclined to that. Let me know what you think. Also, maybe I should get a converter. So, get these out of the way. It's nice that they sent me a box to get rid of. Maybe I'll keep it and then I can use it to send people things. Like candy. Wow, look at how long this is taking to dry. So if I look at the swatches on all of the papers I swatched on, now all things are not equal because there's no way I got exactly the same amount. But the coloring is almost dry. The Tomoe River is almost dry. The um, Irofu, mostly this one, a lot less dry. So fascinating. Now, um, <laughs> I'm such a dork. Let's go. So I just panicked that I had not unpaused recording. So here's what happened. I looked at my collection of pens and I was like, there's something missing here. And I thought, you know what I don't have enough of? I don't, I don't have enough Twisby pens. How can this be? <laughs> um, but for reals, there's one that I've been like, gosh, I, I'm bummed that I missed out on that pen. And um, this website was like, you didn't miss out on nothing, honey. Because we still got it. So I got the eco in pink. Yeah! This is my first look at it in person. Mm, it's a good pink, but I prefer a slightly different pink. So this is like really bubblegum-y. And I think actually on the camera, to me it's looking almost coral. And it feels, it's not coral, but it feels like it leans more coral than I prefer in a pink. I'm still very happy with this. Now, what nib did I get? Y'all, y'all, hold on to your butts. I got an extra fine because it was my only choice. <laughs> so I figure I can just swap nibs between them. Um, but anyway, <laughs> and then... Of course, that satisfied the need for a new um, <laughs> Twisby Eco, obviously. <laughs> but then, you know, you start thinking about, Maria, what other pins are you going to be really sad that you missed out on? And you think none of them. I don't need any more pens. I certainly, certainly do not need the Twisby Eco in Lilac. <laughs> you definitely don't need that. <laughs> and you know what I definitely didn't need either? <laughs> Is another broad nib. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really delighted by these. So, yep. It's interesting. If you look online, these two don't look that dissimilar. In fact, on the camera, this may be coming out more magenta than it is in person. This, to me, is solidly a purple family pen. It's not a pink family pen. But some of the pictures online make it look more pink. I'm happy with it either way. So... Did I need these? <laughs> no. 
Did I get these? Yep. Yeah, I did. Now. So this is the whole reason I placed an order with cold pens. But shipping from the UK is so high. So what you have to do is like meet the minimum order. Meet the threshold so you get free shipping. <laughs> well, so then with these two together... Eh, blah, blah, blah. Did I spend more money than I would have if I just got the one pen and paid for shipping? Oh, yeah. But I have stuff to show for it instead of just, like, shipping to show for it, if that makes sense. So, I got more inks, which I definitely, after 30 inks, definitely realized how many inks I have that I needed. Absolutely. So, um, this is kind of owing to Manda. I don't, I think she actually used this ink in 30 inks. And she said it was a lot like the, uh, this is Colt Penn's Dominant Industry Midnight. And I think she said it was a bit like that Goulet Colorverse ink that I missed out on. For now, if they get it back, who knows? Um, so, obviously, sucker. So, as usual, this comes with a little plastic pipette. After watching the sort of the Inky Rocks videos about the glass pen and playing with ink life in Japan. I wonder if they have similar sorts of stuff going on in Korea. Which is where I think, yeah, Dominant Industries must be. It's from Korea. Um, I'm going to shake this because it's a shimmer. Look at it. When you do this and you just roll it, you can watch the shimmer like float away from the blob of shimmer. If you feel so inclined, which sometimes I do, it makes me feel like I'm like doing things. Oh no, the aerosol paper got on top of the other one. Are we? Nope, it's still there. So, I'm really tired of migraines, let me tell you. It has stopped raining. I might try and go outside. Take a walk or something. See if that helps. Typically exercise does not help my migraines, but I don't know how much exercise a walk really is for me. I mean, it's better than nothing, obviously, which is why I tried to do that, but... Maria, we're here to look at ink. Okay. So this is Midnight. Oh, my kerning was bad. <laughs> it's still called that in handwriting, right? <laughs> Probably not. As usual, spoilers, I overdid it on sparkly inks, okay? Look, it's, I kind of blame Twisby because I had given up on them and then I got, I think it was a Twisby Go because I was like, wait, I need at least one of these so that I can use my sparkly inks. And then, it's like, 
art store, then I bought more sparklings, so I needed more pens for the sparklings. <laughs> it's kind of like if you've read the book, if you give a mouse a cookie. I'm hopeful that my headache will go away. Well, I say headache, but by this evening, it's frequently like the scheme of it is that it'll go around 5 or 6 p.m. Because I have an appointment. <laughs> So, I didn't dot the eye. The hell, Maria? <sighs> Sloppy. This next ink, I just, like, am at a loss for why I bought. <laughs> well, I know exactly why I bought it, and I think I'm going to be disappointed. Um, <laughs> a little. Slash a lot. <laughs> but also delighted. <laughs> ah! <laughs> just having real problems. But don't let the laughter make you think that I'm feeling great. <laughs> Just if you can't laugh, oh my gosh, everything's falling. <laughs> okay, so this ink I got because it hopefully will smell good. And I was so in love with Cutty Beak that I was hoping that this would be like it, but it's more blue, which is a bummer to me. So I think I will love it, <laughs> but I think it's not gonna scratch that itch for Cutty Beak. Hopefully that was on the screen. I mean, this is the amount that I care right now, and it's not particularly high. Oh, I have too many pens and inks. <laughs> oh, it smells good. Not everyone loves that their inks are scented, but I'm here for it. Oh, it pooped. Should we try and soak up the poop? I mean, like, blob of ink. It's not actual poop. I don't have any good blob. <laughs> I don't have any good blob suckers right now. <laughs> what is my life? Let's see if this fabric sat scrap this is not really <sighs> okay. so this is kwz turquoise did i say what it is Or if you prefer KWZ, because I did buy it from the UK, but I don't prefer. 
That just sounds weird to me. As I'm sure that Z sounds weird to people from places where they say Z. So, no judgment. This, I think, looks a lot like Lamy Turquoise. Gee, imagine that. We'll have to get our swatch cards and compare. Like, did I just get an ink that I already have? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I may send samples to friends, though, because at the very least, this one smells good. Nope. Oh. We're back on my sewing table, and so they're sewing things on it. <clears throat> and then the last ink, which I can thank slash blame my friend Sarah for, is by Wearing Goal Wayfarer. Um, this looked so beautiful. I have no business getting an ink like this. Here's this little card about it. Do not use this ink for other usages except for <clears throat> writing and drawing on papers. Do not drink or eat the ink. Be sure to seal the cap firmly after you use. Please keep the ink where kids cannot reach. The ink should avoid fire and direct sunlight. Inks with glitter have to be washed periodically. Also, glistening inks are not recommended for expensive fountain pens and EF nibs pens. I like that. So, Put this in your extra fine Mont Blanc $2,000 pen. I think is what it's trying to tell you. Please do. Um, oh my gosh. I've been lifting even. What was that about? Lifting cookies to your mouth counts, right? I think it does. I want to do a W like the Countess does. That's wrong. Ugh, I let you down. I'm going to look at your handwriting some more and practice. This ink gave me real Emerald Chavor vibes, which obviously means I have no business buying it because I have Emerald of Chavor, but also I love Emerald of Chavor. So now I gotta spell wearing gold right. Hopefully that's right. Shake it again. Oh! Did y'all see that? You saw it. It was right into the camera. Ah! Ah! You know what would be good? Fried chicken sandwich. What do you think, fam? I mean, by the time you answer, it'll be too late all. Oh, hey, guess what? Do you know how I wanted one that was kind of like Cutty Beak? <laughs> it may not be turquoise, but it might actually be this one. Okay. So we're going to um, pause, and when we come back, things will maybe be neater, and I will get my cards so that we can compare all the stuff. 
um, with the things I already have to look at how ridiculous I am for buying any more ink. So, I'm going to pause you and the scene will be like, okay, we're back with our coloring cards are dried and the beautiful paper is dry and everything except the turquoise is dry on the other paper. So let's do some comparisons. I dug through everything now. Um, I don't have very, I have nothing like shiny black. The closest I have is not close. So we have polar lights, which I would say is more charcoal. So it's got this warmth to it, a little bit brown. It has this red sheen that I don't think it really comes through. And then it does have a color changing shimmer. And then Shogun, which is a warmer black with gold shimmer. So I'm happy to have shiny black. I suppose... Did I look at it next to Moon Dust? Moon Dust is similar. It's a shiny gray. But you can see there, this is a shiny black. So, awesome, awesome. And we have Dominant Industry Midnight. I guess we should have looked at these first. Should we, let's, let's do that, okay. Um, obviously this red halo comes out more on the beautiful and the, nope, on the Midori cotton and the Tamoy river paper. The beautiful paper does not have any of that red halo. Could be I didn't lay it down as thickly. Um, the turquoise similarly looks flatter on this paper. It reminds me a little bit more of the coloring material, but not. I'd have expected cotton to perhaps look the flattest, not having worked with it except for um, watercolor um, and not knowing what to expect. Midnight looks almost, look at it on these two papers and how bold and amazing it is. And it's like anemic by comparison on these two. I don't know if that comes. Ah, I don't know if that comes across. Can you believe I just did that? Pepperidge Farm believes it. It's fine. This is fine. So, that's midnight. And then shiny black. Shiny black looks good on all of them. I love how it pops on this really white paper. But it, there's a warmth to it on this Midori cotton. It looks like it's going to be, yeah, eyeshadowy, but not perhaps as much as I'd have thought. So my first impressions of this Midori paper is that I'm going to love it. It's not too thick. Like compared to this, the Irofu. I don't love the Irofu. It's good that it comes in sheets though. It's nice for writing. So then I don't have to use paper that I really, really love. <laughs> to give away. <laughs> okay, now we'll go back into comparing swatches. So, ugh, Midnight. I've got a few. I thought we would also show it next to Dawn and Dusk. So it's nothing like Dawn. It is quite similar to Dusk, though the shimmer color is different. And I I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference in the writing. I think what I should do is ink two pins up, one with each of these, and like head to head, and see how different they actually are. 
And then if we want to look at inks that might be in the same color family, here it is next to Earl Grey. Earl Grey is grayer and I think warmer, but not too dissimilar. I love this ink. And here it is next to that, I got a free bottle with a pen and I'm pretty sure it is this, Papier Plume Dorchester Blue. And it's fairly similar to this, um, but possibly lighter and obviously has shimmer and this doesn't. Now, turquoise. Um, I have a few here to compare it to. So, <laughs> comparing it to Lamy turquoise. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the same color, but it's uh, deeper. So I like that. They're not going to necessarily be the exact same color. But let's compare it next to Sailor Michigan. <laughs> kind of the same exact color. Oh, I've lost light and even though I have a big lamp on, the color is becoming less accurate. I apologize that it's dark, but this is the way life is sometimes. Sometimes the sun goes behind the cloud. Um, and then a couple more comparisons. Here are these three with Soda Pop Blue. So I feel like this is a pretty good comparison, but no, these two are very similar. Sailor Michigan and KW Turquoise. <laughs> but that's good to know because this comes in 60 milliliter bottles for I think less than the price of this 20 milliliter bottle. So that means I can use my Sailor Michigan with impunity and not feel bad about it because I'll have this lovely vanilla scented one to come back to. The other ink that I thought was sort of similar was a Cayenne de Nepal. That's not that similar. Also has shimmer. And then, wait, where did that last ink go? Wayfarer. <laughs> so this is a, obviously the one we need to compare it to. Although all, any shimmer that existed on this is gone now. Here's Emerald of Shavor. They're kind of the same color. And if we compare it to Cutty Beak, they're pretty similar. Cutty Beak is uh, greener. If we compare it to Yuletide, from Ink Vent last year, very similar. How about to Pure Pins Porth Kerno Cove? Similar, this is much lighter. I don't own, um, I don't own all of these. Uh, if we put down Monarca Mar Caribe, similar, not the same. Shikiori Yamadori, this is a deeper, uh, maybe bluer. It's, 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 it's a, it's a, a tone of the ink. It's got some gray in it to me. And Robert Oster Deep Sea. Um, definitely more muted. So, and this has shimmer. And again, the closest would have been Emerald of Chivore, and they are pretty dang close. So, <laughs> I'm still really excited I got all these inks. And I think this is funny. I wanted this. I got this. But it was actually that all along. So, Let's look at what we got. We just piled them all together so that we can't find the ones that we just got. Good job, good job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have kind of an exorbitant number of pens and inks and paper. So, I want to say a big thanks to my friends who inspired me to make some amazing additions. So to Sarah, to Amanda, to Creepy Nibs. Thank you for inspiring me to greatness and excess. Um, <laughs> and thank you everyone for hanging out with me through this just, I don't even know, apologies, probably scatterbrained a little bit video, but it is what it is. I hope when you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day and take care of yourselves. Bye.